Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Cyberpunk 2077. My name is Camel, and today I'm going to show you how to acquire a complete set of free legendary police armor, known in-game as the badge armor sets. Now you can get this right at the start of Act 2, which you can get to in you know the first few hours of gameplay if you so choose to do the main missions. You just need to have finished the heist mission. Once you complete that, all of the map will now be opened up to you and you can get to all of the locations that we'll be going to in this video. Now if you are into this kind of stuff, be sure to check out my other Cyberpunk 2077 videos via the playlist link down in the description, along with checking out my social media links while you're down there as well. With that said, let's get out there and collecting these pieces, and we'll be getting them in the most linear fashion that I can come up with, so that you have to travel as little as possible while collecting these free legendary police badge armor pieces. So, firstly, we'll be getting our hands on the legendary Hollow Tinted Badge Goggles. For this, we're going to need to head to Watson, to Northside, and then go to the Pershing Street Fast Travel Point right here on the map. Now, from the Fast Travel Point, we're going to want to cross the road and head down this blocked off side street here. Just jump over the barriers and make your way around to the left. And then once you hit the Maelstrom gang members standing next to the car behind the truck, turn to the right and keep heading forward. Eventually we'll hit this gang of people having a little party, just run past them all the way to the back corner, where we will see a police car. Now next to the police car is a dead police officer, who, of course, is carrying the goggles that we came here for. Now before you look at the police officer, you can do this for any legendary piece in the game as well, save the game. Now the reason for this is that when you toggle over a legendary piece, or any piece for that matter, it will have random mods and random mod slots. So the most mod slots that a face piece of armor can have is three, but as we can see, the one here that I found has two. So I'm going to want to reload that save file that we just made before looking at the dead body. So now that it's loaded, we can just look at the dead body again and the mod slots will have just randomly re-rolled. And as we can see, it's got three mod slots, which is exactly what I want as that's the maximum that this piece could possibly have. And now I'm not too fussed about what the actual mods on it are as I'll kit it out with my own better mods. But as we can see, this dead police officer is carrying the hollow tinted badge goggles. Now, if you get a bit lost, we can see that the Pershing Street fast travel point is right here and we just made our way to the southeast a little bit into these back streets and alleys to where my character's currently standing, which is where we can find this. Now for me, these hollow tinted badge goggles had an armor rating of 28.6, and mine came with three mod slots because I kept reloading the save until it did have three mod slots. As we can see, I have increases max oxygen by 6.5, increases crit damage by 30%, and increases damage against enemies with moderate and higher threat levels by 5%. Oh, and by the way, this white Headband is not part of the badge armor set, I just put it on my male character so that it would get his hair out of the way while we look at them. So as we can see, they have this almost safety goggle look. While it might be practical, I don't personally think it looks that good. It appears to be made out of plastic, but I'm sure it's made of something much more tactical and cool like carbon fiber or solid uranium. In the bottom corner of the frame, they do say SR14 DSM. No idea what that stands for. Maybe you can come up with something funny. Now the frame doesn't seem to continue along the top of the lens, which sure, who needs the top of the frame when you can save weight and be more tactical. Now, if you do get the sun uh, shining through them, you will find they have this kind of amber to crimson look to them. The kind of thing you would expect with like ski goggles. So while personally not my jam, I am not from the future either. And I guess they suit the whole police vibe. And sure, while they may reflect the sun's rays, I'm just hoping they reflect bullets as well. Now next up, we'll be getting our hands on the legendary anti-puncture Neotac pants with composite lining. These are also in Watson, just a stone's throw away, where we'll need to come to the middle of Little China, to the Metro Farrier Street fast travel point, right here on the map. Now from the fast travel point, we're going to want to turn to the right, and then just make our way down the road. Cross this road and keep heading straight ahead. Now over on the left, we'll see a bunch of 
big neon blue arrows pointing down. We basically want to go to where those are, but across the road, the same side we're on. Where we'll go down these stairs, then there's another set of stairs where we'll see more neon arrows, all pointing down to that weird little nook. Well, if we go into that weird little nook, we'll find a dead police officer, on whom we can see is the anti-puncture Neotac pants with composite lining. Now, curiously, while the pants don't have the same name as the rest of the set, they are also found on a dead police officer, and physically, they match perfectly. And they also have the exact same flavor text at the bottom of the item window. Now, if you do get lost, these pants can be found right where my character's standing. As we can see, the fast travel points there, we literally just headed straight west down the road, down two sets of stairs, and then in that little nook where my character's standing, we found the pants. Now, for me, these had an armor rating of 52.7 and as we can see I just re-rolled until we got three mod slots which is the most mod slots that a pair of pants can have. Mine increased movement speed by 13, increases armor by 5.676 which is oddly specific and it reduces the stamina cost of melee attacks by 5% or it reduces it by minus 5% which technically means that it increases the stamina cost because if you have a number and then deduct a negative number Two negatives is a positive, so you're plusing 5% or whatever. That's just semantics. So the anti-puncture Neotac pants with composite lining, of course, look like this. Kind of like cargo pants. Oddly, they're made of a slightly shiny material. It looks like a polyester Hawaiian shirt kind of material, which would be a nightmare, considering there's no airflow as far as I can see. There are also these kind of carbon fiber looking sections, the black sections on the knees, the straps, some of the pockets, things like that. I guess it just makes them look action ready and tactile. Now, next up, we'll be getting our hands on two of the legendary heavy duty Aramid reinforced badge coats. For these, we'll need to come to the southern corner of Santo Domingo, to the Almanaca and Jerez fast travel points right here on the map. From this fast travel point, we want to head towards Night City down the street, where in like 10 steps, we can see there is a flaming police truck pulled into the front of this driveway. Now behind the police truck, there are two more police cars and a bunch of dead people two of which have legendary items on them. Now, both of these people carrying legendaries are actually carrying the same legendaries, the heavy duty Aramid reinforced badge coat. Interestingly though, one of the people carrying them is a thief or a robber or a bad guy, whereas the other one carrying it is what we would expect a police officer to be carrying the badge coat. Anyway, much like a repainted wall, we get a second coat. Lucky us. Now for me, this had an armor rating of 114.8, and on this character, I couldn't be bothered re-rolling it until I got four mod slots, and I just went with three, I think is what I have. Reduces damage from negative status effects by 5%, and reduces damage from explosions by 5%. And then there's an empty mod slot. I'd like to point out though, that these little mods that reduce, just say reduces by 5%. Whereas that other one said reduces by minus 5%. Hmm, again, semantics. Now this coat is very curious. It has a few bits and bobs that are pretty interesting. So at face value, we can see it's kind of like this blue futuristic looking jacket with pads and the black carbon fiber looking strips and straps and pads and whatnot. Now the other curious thing that it comes with is this utility tool belt, which appears to have a flashlight, two magazines of ammunition, pistol, SMG, I don't know, I don't have guns, a satchel for nondescript stuff, two more magazines of ammunition, an orange spray canister, which I can only imagine has pepper spray or mace in it, a pair of what I think are handcuffs, but they look really uncomfortable, and then another nondescript pouch for nondescript things. But the other extremely curious thing about this coat is that in the inventory menu, it comes with a bulletproof vest over the top that says police across the collar and police on the front and police on the back and has an NCPD logo on the back as well. But in game, when you're actually wearing it, this vest is non-existent. I don't know if this is a bug or if this is intentional or was cut at the last second, but they didn't want to give the player character access to an actual NCPD uniform and just make it look like something a police officer might wear without actually having any logos or anything like that. But whatever the reason, sadly that cool police vest isn't in game, only in the inventory viewer. Now on the female character, it appears to crush her breasts 
like absolutely squash her breasts in. That strap also looks like it's not actually under the breast, but like on the bottom 20% of the breast. So you might want to loosen those straps a bit. Just everything about it looks really uncomfortable to wear for a woman, of course, or me with my giant, huge Herculean pecs. And next up, we'll be getting our hands on two pairs of the legendary waterproof badge combat boots. For these, we'll need to come to the southeastern corner of Santo Domingo, to the Rancho Coronado fast travel point, right here on the map. Now from here, we're going to turn to the right and then run up the hill towards the dam. We can see the dam up the back there. Just head all the way up the hill. Once you hit the dirt road, just keep running up. Now we'll soon spot that there is a police car pulled over on the side of the road. Next to this we can see that there is a bunch of stairs that lead up. Just run up all the stairs, keep going up the stairs. Then we'll hit this ladder, climb up the ladder or double jump up, whatever suits your fancy. Now up here we'll find two dead bodies, both of which are carrying legendary items and both of those legendary items are the same legendary item, the waterproof badge combat boots. So of course grab both of those. Now mine had an armor rating of 74.1 and on this particular character apparently I didn't get any mod slots, but I don't plan on using these for the rest of my playthrough so <laughs> I don't care. In fact, do you know what I'm going to give this item? the boot. Now this is what these boots look like. Again, they have that kind of carbon fiber looking material. And then I'm guessing some kind of leather or perhaps some kind of military rubber that's fireproof and waterproof. It's in the name blood proof, crime proof, all the proofs. Doesn't seem to have laces or straps. I'm not too sure what those three buckly looking things are, but they don't seem to have a clip on either side. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Again, I'm not from the future and I don't design shoes. Now that is the complete badge set. There are only four pieces to this legendary set. Uh, there is no undershirt, there's no shirt and there's no hat, no headpiece. So that does leave room for you to put on whatever you like onto your character if you want to use this legendary badge set. Now for those who are curious, the flavor text on the set says give it up punk and I don't want to hear some sub story about how was society that drove you to this. I just want to see that gun on the ground right now before I give you an extra nostril, which is a quote from Sergeant Max Hammerman from the NCPD. Night City Police Department, that is. That's a hell of a name. Now, all in all, set looks kind of cool, I think. I really wish it still had that vest, though. That would just kind of wrap it up completely as an NCPD legendary armor set. But whether you want to roleplay some kind of law-abiding V that secretly works for the NCPD, or is a badge of some sorts, or you just want to wear it because it looks cool, this is the set for you. It's the kind of armor that turns the peace sign into a that's two warnings. One more time I'm going to cuff you and use my baton in you in ways that would make Lucifer blush. In which case I say cuff me. So I hope that I have been able to help you in getting your hands on this full set of legendary badge armor or police armor. Even though sadly that police vest was cut or it's bugged out or whatever's happening there. So be sure to let me know if you have found any other cool items, cool things I should know about, cool hidden vehicles, cool legendary items, iconic items, whatever it is. I would love to hear from you. And again, be sure to check out my other Cyberpunk 2077 videos. You can find them via the playlist link down in the description. Now down there in the old description, you can also find all of my social media links. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you would like to support my channel in a more personal way, you can of course become a patron on Patreon or sponsor my channel right here on YouTube. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy. So your support is most genuinely appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.